right? So we need the slope. We need your slope, usually the derivative. We need a point. Usually they give it to us, but first side note here, okay? If um, they had not given us the point, they gave us the point 2 5. 2 5 is on this curve, it's on this quadratic, on this parabola. When you plug in 2, Sometimes they will not give you the entire point. Sometimes they will not give you two five. They'll just say, find the equation of tangent line to this function, f of x equals two x squared minus three at x equals two. Well, all you have to do is plug in two into the function to get the y value. Okay, that's side note number one. Um, a lot of times they actually just give you the x value. They do not give you the entire point. Okay, but all you have to do is plug it into the function. All right, um, so we have the point, we need to find the slope. We're in calculus, slope comes from the derivative. So let's use what we learned yesterday, that form of the limit definition of the derivative, to calculate the slope of the tangent line to this curve at x equals 2. So if you will recall, that would be f prime of 2. The derivative of f at 2 is equal to the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x, 2x squared minus 3, minus f of a. Well, we have f of a. 2 is a, f of a is 5. It's its y value. They gave it to us. We don't have to do any work. Over x minus a. We need to simplify. Notice I'm keeping my limit notation, which no one did on the quiz, even when I told you to and reminded you the other day. I told you about my story when my teacher counted off a bunch of points for me not putting the limit all the way through. I didn't take off a bunch of points, but I took off some points. Okay. Uh, let's see here. We've got a factor to be able to evaluate this limit, okay? Um, because right now if we plug in 2, we get 0 over 0. That's the problem. So in the numerator, we need to factor out a 2. That still doesn't quite get us there. We've got to factor that difference of perfect squares. <coughs> x plus 2 times x minus 2. That fixes our problem. And then we can plug in 2 for x. So we get that f prime of 2, the derivative of f at 2, aka the slope of the tangent line at 2, is equal to 8. Now, pretty soon this process will get a little bit shorter once we learn our rules for derivatives, but right now we're still using the limit definition. So to write the equation of the tangent line, all we have to do is plug in y minus the y value of the point that they gave us, which was 5, is equal to the slope times x minus the x value, which was 2. That is all you have to do. You do not have to put it in slope-intercept form. Leave it right there. Okay, leave it right there. Now, another thing that they will ask you sometimes is the equation of the normal line. I don't know that I've ever brought up the normal line before. Uh, you may have heard of it if you've taken physics or something like that. Uh, you may have heard this term before. But the normal line is perpendicular to the tangent line. So what do we know about perpendicular lines? They form a 90 degree angle. In terms of their equations, how are they related? They have the opposite reciprocal slope. Okay, they have the opposite reciprocal slope. So you flip it, 
and you change the sign. So the slope of the tangent line was 8, so that means the slope of the normal line for this problem is negative 1 eighth. So the equation of the normal line is y minus 5 is equal to negative 1 eighth times x minus 2. They go through the same point. They go through the point 2, 5, but they're going to be perpendicular to each other. The tangent line um, <coughs> lies perpendicular to the curve, and the normal line lies perpendicular to that line. Because it's y minus the y value. Every time. It's y minus y is equal to slope times x minus x. Okay? Pretty straightforward. You'd be amazed what people forget about this though. All right, so let's do another example. Here's our function. f of x is equal to 5x squared minus x plus 4. And that is at the point 1, 8. Okay, we need a point. We're given the point. We need the slope. The slope comes from the derivative, so we want the slope at 1. So f prime of 1, the derivative of f at 1, the slope of the tangent line at 1. Yes, I'm going to keep saying those things over and over and over again. Is equal to the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x minus f of a. In this case, that is 8. All over x minus a, which is 1. So we haven't done anything with the limit yet, so we write it down again. The limit as x approaches 1. We need to combine those like terms in the numerator. 4 minus 8 is negative 4. This one's factoring not so bad. 5x and 4 and x and 1. How do I know that? Because I know that x minus 1 has got to cancel. Okay. Use your experience with these problems to help you work them out. So the x minus 1's cancel. Then I can plug in 1 for x. 5 times 1 plus 4 is 9. So the slope of this tangent line is 9. That means the equation of our tangent line is y minus 8 is equal to 9 times x minus 1. That is the tangent line. The normal line would be y minus 8 is equal to negative 1 over 9 times x minus 1. It's the normal line. Okay. Any questions? Yes.